Hi, my name is May, and in this video, I'm gonna show you three simple card designs using stamps, embossing powder, cardstock, and napkin decoupage. I will start with the ivory card and the flamingo napkin. So, what you wanna do is cut out one square of it. I will separate the layers of the napkin. You only need the colored one. Usually there are two layers of white. And that's a bit fiddly. So take your time and yeah. Put away the white ones. And now you wanna look where you wanna put your napkin. I'm gonna combine it with a cardstock with a pattern on it. So I think I'm going with this one. Now put your napkin where you wanna have it. And I wanna make it this square of the flamingos and I think the other square with the heart pattern cardstock um, or maybe this uh, I don't know I decided at the end what I want to do I'm gonna trim off the edges because you don't want the rough side on your card place the napkin where you want to have it and remember the space now you'll need some decoupage glue or napkin glue and I'm gonna put oops <laughs> I gotta put mine into a little cup make sure you cover the whole square with enough glue so you don't end up ripping your napkin and once you've done that, put your napkin uh, on the glue and cover the whole thing again with a layer of glue. Make sure you work from the inside to the outside so you don't wrinkle your napkin. Once that's done, uh, set it aside to let the glue dry. It usually takes 30 minutes or something depending on what glue do you use. For the next card I will use my vintage photo ink pad, the writing stamp and the little postage stamp. And what I want to do is cover the whole card with the writing stamp. And what I forgot to tell you probably need a piece of paper so you don't end up messing up your desk. Okay, so that's the finished look. I'm pretty happy with it. And the next thing I want to do now is take the little stamp. Um, I'm going to use this with the antique embossing powder. For embossing you need a glue stamp pad and embossing powder and a heat gun. Put the stamp on the glue pad and I'm gonna use it on the lightest patch. Then pour the powder over it and tap off the excess. You probably can't really see the camera but the embossing powder uh, starts melting after a while. What I gonna do now is smear the whole pad over the card and over the embossing stamp so it's this kind of used look. I gotta do this on a few different places and now you need a paper towel and smear the ink color over the card. Now I'm gonna dip it onto the ink pad and color the women's head with this vintage brown. So yeah, you kind of can see it and give it a little bit more yeast look and 
I'm gonna color the other embossing stamp as well. I'm pretty happy how it looks and yeah it's a pretty cool looking card with a few simple steps. The last thing I want to do is give the envelope a matching stamp. I'm gonna use the little postage stamp and just put it over the lash so it looks kind of like a seal. For the next card I'm gonna use these three layered stamps. You will need a different color for each section so you wanna work from lightest to darkest. I'm gonna use a blue, a purple and a black embossing powder. I want to work from the bottom left corner to the top right corner. To finish the card I will use a pearl glue and light blue to give it more of a playful look. Cut off the excess of the napkin to make sure it lines perfectly with the card. I decided I want to make a border with the cardstock instead of another square. So I'm gonna cut off a stripe and it doesn't have to be perfect. I want it to be asymmetric. Lay it down, uh, see if it fits and then use some glue stick to glue it over the edges of the napkin. Once you're happy, place the whole card under a heavy book because decoupage tends to wrinkle the paper a bit. Leave it under the book for about an hour and you're done. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and let me know what I should do next. Bye!